this class we work out 10 problems in basic concepts in electrical engineering the first problem is how much time is required for 25 into 10 power 18 electrons to leave the negative terminal of a battery if current provided by the battery is 1 amps we know that i is equal to q by t here q is given 25 into 10 power 18 i can rewrite the equation t is equal to q by i and we know that 1 coulomb is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons. So I convert to Q is equal to 25 into 10 power 18 divided by 6.25 into 10 power 18 that is equal to 4 coulombs. Therefore time T is equal to I know Q, Q is equal to 4C, I is equal to 1 amps. Therefore 4C divided by 4 coulombs divided by 1 amps is equal to 4 seconds. Therefore time required for 25 into 10 power 18 electrons to leave the negative terminal of the battery is 4 seconds. Problem number 2. Determine the potential energy W of a 12 volt battery that has 6000 coulomb of charge stored in it. We know that voltage is equal to energy W divided by charge Q. The R V is equal to W by Q. Therefore potential energy W is equal to V into Q. We know that V, v is given 12 volts and Q is 6000. Therefore, potential energy W is equal to 72,000 joules. Problem number 3. What is the power rating of an electric device that converts 1,880 joules of energy in 20 seconds? We know the formula P is equal to W by T. W is given 1,880. T is given 20. That is P is equal to 94 joules per second. Or power rating is equal to 94 watts. Problem number 4. How much energy would be required to operate 100 watt incandescent lamp for 30 minutes? Here the wattage is given that is 100. Time is given 30 minutes. We have to convert it to seconds. T is equal to 30 into 60 that is equal to 1800 seconds. Therefore energy E is equal to P into T that is equal to 100 into 1800. That is equal to 1,80,000 watt seconds or 1,80,000 joules. Problem number 5. An electric iron operates from 220 volt outlet and draws 5 amps of current at 2 rupees 25 pies per kilowatt hour. How much does it cost to operate the iron for 2 hours? Here P, P is equal to V in time. V is given 220. I is equal to 5, therefore P is equal to 1100 watts or 1.1 kilowatts. Energy E is equal to P into T. Here the T is given, hours that is 2 hours is given, therefore 1.1 into 2 that is equal to 2.2 kilowatt hour. Per kilowatt hour cost is given 2 rupees 25 pies, therefore 2.2 into 2 rupees 25 pies that is equal to 4 rupees 95 pies. Problem number 6. What is the efficiency of a 0.75 horsepower motor that requires an input of 800 watts of electric power? Here the input power is given 800. Output power is equal to 0.75 HP. We know that 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Therefore output power is equal to 0.75 into 746 that is equal to 559.5 watts. A percentage efficiency is equal to output by input into 100 that is equal to 559.5 divided by 800 into 100 that is equal to 69.94. Problem number 7. A strip of aluminium has a length of 5 meters, L is given 5 meters and a cross section 16 mm into 2.5 mm. It is a strip. Find the resistance of the strip. Resistivity is given 2.83 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter. We know that resistance R is equal to rho L by A, where rho is a resistivity in ohm meter, L is a length in meters, A is a cross sectional area in meter square. Here the length is given in meters and the resistivity is in ohm meter, we have to convert this in mm to meter. Therefore A is equal to 16 into 10 power minus 3 into 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 5 meter square. And substitute the values in this formula, R is equal to 2.83, this is given into 10 power minus 8 into 5 that is L, L is 5 divided by 4 into 10 power minus 5 that is equal to 3.534 into 10 power minus 3 ohms. The resistance is 3.534 into 10 power minus 3 ohms. Problem number 8. A bread toaster has a nichrome unit. 
rho is equal to 112 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter of resistance 35 ohm. What is the resistance of the copper conductor of equal area of cross section but 10 times as long as the nichrome wire? The resistivity of copper is equal to 1.7 into 10 power minus 8 ohm meter. We have to find the resistance of the copper wire. Here rho 1 that is a copper resistivity is equal to 1.7 into 10 power minus 8. Uh, resistivity of nichrome is equal to 112 into 10 power minus 8. Resistance of nichrome wire is equal to 35 ohms that is given. We know that R is equal to rho L by A. Here two conditions A1 is equal to A2. Both uh, cross section is equal but the length is 10 times as long as the nichrome wire. Therefore length of the copper is 10. Length of the nichrome wire is equal to 1. Therefore R resistance of copper is equal to rho 1 into 10 divided by A1. Resistance of nichrome wire is equal to rho 2 into 1 divided by A2. Since A1 is equal to A2, therefore we will get resistance of copper divided by resistance of nickel is equal to rho 1 divided by rho 2 into 10. Then resistance of copper is equal to resistance of nichrome into 1.7 into 10 power minus 8 divided by 112 into 10 power minus 8 into 10. The resistance is given that is 35. We simplify it, we will get resistance of copper is equal to 5.313 ohms. Ninth problem is the field coil of a motor has a resistance 200 ohm at 15 degree centigrade. Find the resistance at 45 degree centigrade. Assume that alpha temperature coefficient alpha is equal to 0.00428 per degree centigrade at 0 degree centigrade. And alpha naught is equal to 0 0.004 day given. Alpha 1 is equal to alpha naught divided by 1 plus alpha naught into T. Here alpha 1 is equal to alpha 15 that is equal to alpha naught divided by T is equal to 15. 1 plus 15 into alpha naught. We know alpha naught substitute in the formula. Alpha that is temperature coefficient at 15 is equal to 0 0.004022. We know that the resistance at 45 degree centigrade is equal to resistance at 15 degree centigrade into 1 plus alpha that is 50 degree at 50 degree centigrade alpha 15 is equal to 0.004022 into t2 minus t1 where t2 is equal to 45 t1 is equal to 15 we will get 30 we simplify the equation we will get r resistance at 45 degree centigrade is equal to 224.132 ohms problem number 10 an incandescent lamp takes 2.2 amps at 220 volt at the instant of switching it on at the normal operating temperature, the current drops to 0 0.2 amps. Find the temperature of the heated filament. Room temperature is equal to 20 degree centigrade and the corresponding temperature equation of the filament as 0 0.005 per degree centigrade. The resistance at 20 degree centigrade is equal to V divided by I. Here V is equal to 220, I is equal to 2.2 that is equal to 100 ohms. At the normal operating temperature, the current drops to 0.2. Therefore, RT is equal to 220 divided by 0.2. That is equal to 1100 ohms. Therefore, RT is equal to R resistance at 20 degree centigrade into 1 plus alpha 20 into T2 minus T1. We know T1. T1 is equal to 20 degree centigrade is given. We have to find T2. Substitute in the formula. Find T2 is equal to 2020 degree centigrade. The temperature of the heated filament is 2020 degree centigrade. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.